I'm sure. And today we'll be going through some neck, um, shoulder, and spine workouts. And so this is going to first start with a little bit of warm up, we'll get some exercises, and then a cool down. Uh, so first, we'll be going with the warm up. I want you to take one of your ears, you get down to that same shoulder, it should feel a little stretch into the side. But because this is a warm up, we're not going to hold this position for too long. I'm going to have you take your chin look down to the ground, and then look, follow your eyes up to the ceiling or the sky if you're doing this outside. Down to the ground, up to the ceiling. Good. You should feel that stretch move from just the side of your neck to the back of your neck and then up to the front of your neck. Do this a couple more times and then switch sides. Good. One more time. Good. Now, ear down to the opposite shoulder and then bring it up and down to the sky. So the whole time you're maintaining that side bend of the neck while you then rotate down and then rotate up. Try not to let that shoulder come up with you. Keep that shoulder down so you really feel a stretching through the side of your neck and your upper shoulder. Great. Now we'll try a cup on our, on our hands and knees. And so from this position, what I want you to do is we are going to just do a little bit of like cat-cow position, but more so again, just through the shoulder blades. Okay, so we're working that upper part of the back. So from this, you kind of almost like you have a string in the center of your chest, right from your sternum, right from your breastbone, and that's pulling you down towards the mat. And then one right in between your shoulder blades, that's pulling you up towards the sky. We call this scapular protraction and retraction. It really helps to kind of move the shoulder blades on the rib cage to and from away from the spine. Now take one of your hands, reach them up towards the sky, and then reach it through as far as you can to the opposite kind of side body. I'm going to take you threading a needle and then to the side wall. And you may not be able to touch this shoulder all the way down if you're tight, but try and go as far as you feel comfortable, okay? Opposite side, reach up. I'm going to you're making the letter T and then through and then up and through. One more time, up fingertips to sky, and then fingertips to cross and through, okay? Now, the first thing that we're gonna do for some strengthening is just isometrics, this is for your neck, okay? Four different positions. If you have you know, something squishy, like a rolled up towel or a sweatshirt or something, you can use that, especially if you wanna try to get some pressure into the floor or into a wall um, to be able to provide that resistance. I'm just gonna use my hands, okay? And we'll talk you through this. So all that we're going to do is a side push. I'm taking my hand, and it doesn't matter the angle, the angle of the elbow, I'm gonna push my hand into, or excuse me, push my um, side of my head into my hand. So my hand is like a wall right now. It's not letting my head move, but I'm trying to use these side of neck muscles to push into it. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, relax. Try that two more times. Hold for five, four, Three, two, one, relax. One more time, and five. You should feel all of those muscles on the side of your neck, maybe even the top of your shoulder, start to activate. Good. Now we'll go the opposite side. So I'm doing a little bit of push this way. This is my wall now. And push. Good. Three, two, one, relax. And then really make sure you're trying to kind of lead with your head and not with your hand into your head. This is just stiff and relax. Good. That's why sometimes it's easier, one more time, to push into a wall or to push into the floor and relax because you know that you're not gonna have to irritate your shoulders in the same process. I'm just showing you to make it a little bit easier to kind of see all of these movements. So now I'm gonna have a wall as my head, okay? I'm gonna face sideways a little bit so you can see how I'm doing this. So try to make sure that you don't have any Poor posture habits going on, but really try to push your forehead into your hand, let the heel of your hand, and then hold it for the five. You can see my little neck muscles starting to pop up and relax. And then try it again. So it's more of a straightforward push. I'm not, you know, try to bring my chin to my chest and not trying to flex at the head, relax. Really just trying to push forward. One more time. And yep, and three, two, one. Now, this one I am going to do laying down, 
okay? So again, you can do this into the wall. I love to do it into the headrest when I'm driving, especially because my head likes to kind of go forward whenever I'm driving. So for here, I'm just going to push, think about like the worst double chin selfie position that you've ever had in your forward facing camera and relax. That's what I'm trying to replicate with this. And then push down, back of your head, down into the pillow, into the towel, and relax. Whatever you have that's soft and squishy so you're not bruising your head. And push, good. And relax, good. Now, again, you have all of those different muscles around your neck. You should feel a little bit more supported, a little bit more activated now, which is great to be able to hold your head up all day. All right, so now I'm gonna try a little bit of a pec opener using that towel. If you have a foam roller, fabulous. If you don't, you can roll up one of those bath towels and we'll use that to open up through the chest. And so for here, I'm gonna have you just try as much as you can. I'm gonna bring this kind of like right underneath my neck. Again, you might need a longer one, depending on what feels comfortable to your head and your neck and really support the whole thing from the top of your head all the way down to the base of your spine, but it depends on what feels good for you, okay? I'm just gonna hold this position and then really try to let my shoulders come down. That towel is right up and down my spine between my shoulder blades, trying to kind of open up through the chest. Almost like somebody is like behind me trying to open up through my chest, but through the back. And then you can rock a little bit side to side with this. And again, if you have a foam roller, great. If you have a half foam roller, awesome. Or if you don't, you can just use a towel. Or if you're tight, if you're too tight with a towel, just try this on the ground or with your back against the wall. Now, if you did our exercises for the arms and the shoulders, we did some of the no monies. We'll try the same type of position, just a little bit of rotation in and out a couple more times to work through the shoulders. Again, don't let the shoulders come up. We want these to stay down as we rotate up and down. The elbows stay in close to your sides. Now, bring the arms out away from you. Back the hands are against the, um, against the floor and we're squeezing in. Try to keep the back of the hands, it's gonna be tough, especially if your pecs are really, really tight and squeeze elbows in towards your sides. Don't let your back arch off of the ground. Try to keep your back still in contact with that towel. My hands come up a little bit because I am tight. If you get it off of the floor with the foam roller, it might be even tighter, okay? One more time, and squeeze. This is activating the back side of your body and then elongating or opening up the front. Great, okay, so now that we're nice and mobile, <laughs> we've got some increased mobility from the front to back, I want to try a little bit of exercise on your stomach, okay? These ones are called I's, T's, and Y's. We're going to do two of them on my hands and knees, and then we're gonna try ones all the way flat on your tummy. You may have seen exercises like this before. The first ones we're going to do just one arm at a time, and then we're gonna combine everything so we get some arms and legs moving at the same time, okay? So, I'm do this with the arm facing closest to you. We'll try five each way. So first, the pinky, okay, you can see my pinky right there, is gonna go up towards my back pocket, okay? And I'm trying in this position to almost like I'm kind of tucking the bottom of my shoulder blade into my back pocket if I had a pair of jeans on, all right? So I'm really squeezing the shoulder blade closer to the spine and bringing it down into my back pocket now. I'm going straight out to the side. I'm keeping, while I'm on my hands and knees, I'm keeping my belly button kind of not tucked in, I'm not holding my breath because I'm talking to you, um, but I'm trying to keep my trunk tight. I'm not a wet noodle, I'm not moving all over the place. I'm trying to really stabilize through my trunk at the same time. Great, now I'm gonna try the other side for five. So pinky goes up towards the sky, but also towards that back pocket. And squeeze, and two more. Good, and out to the side in a T position, back the hand goes up towards the ceiling, but my trunk, my supporting arm, and my legs stay solid, okay? Almost act like you have a thread attaching your belly button to the front side of your spine from the insides. Last one, good. Now we're gonna try some superhumans, okay? So arms and legs moving together, I'm gonna show you just one on each side, okay? So we're gonna try thumb up, on the right, thumb up on the left, heel up 
on the right, heel up on the left. Now we'll pull everything together. Everything up, hold it for a count of three, and then back down. We'll try two more of those. Everything up, hold for a count of three, and then back down. And one more time, everything up, hold for a count of three, and back down. Great. Now, if for any reason if that whole combination just wasn't working, you can work your way through one arm at a time or one leg at a time. All right. Now, I'm going to try a super prone press ups. This is going to be back on my stomach to try to kind of work through similar positions to what we just did, but move into the cool down. So, from here, only going up as high as you feel comfortable with the mobility that you have in your spine. We'll try two more times. Good. One more time. Now I'm opening up through my chest and now I'm going to hold it. This is a little bit of like a cobra. It's an upward dog meaning ones. And a little cobra action. Try to isolate, open up through the chest. One more time with that one. Holding for a count of five. I can feel this all the way through my back. I'm like lifting my hands off of the ground and almost kind of making a little Y or a W position with my arms. Good. All right, now moving into our cool down, we're just going to stretch a little bit, holding the same position, very similar to what we just did for the warm up, except now we're holding it. So you can get yourself over pressure, like how I am with my hand. You can just let the body weight of your head come down, or if you want to grip onto something. And do it more from a bottom up stretch. Now look down at the ground from that side bent position. Ooh, and tight. We'll do this on both sides. Again, at least for 15 seconds, up to 20 if you have the time. And now look up at the sky. This one gets your scalene, your atrial scalene. That are kind of right behind your collarbone. These really like to get tight if your head is a little bit forward. Okay, other side. So this one is for your upper trapezius. I'm reaching down, but like I said, you can give it over pressure to the top of the head too. You can do one or the other, or both, or neither, <laughs> whatever feels good. And then look up into your scalenes and through here. A little bit of middle. I feel that, like I said, right behind that collarbone. And then look down at the ground. This is your levator scapulae stretch that is backside of your neck. Those little teeny stringy muscles insert from your spine down into the inside of the shoulder blade. You really like to get tight. Great. All right, and then just trying to stretch out the rhomboids again. Did a lot of work through the shoulder blades and the rib cage. So you can either clasp like this. Give yourself almost like you're holding your hand. Or for any of our yogis out there, you can cross at the elbows and then give yourself a hand shake and try some eagle pose. And really try to use kind of that force, that leverage of those two elbows together, press them together, and open up through the shoulder blades. Holding again for about that 20 to 30 seconds. Great. Thanks for joining. I did some neck and spine, a little bit of shoulder workout right there helps great for posture. I'll um, join you again next time. Thank you for joining our everyday exercises for workout minis.